In this video I'm going to be trying out this King Wi-Fi Wi-Fi router range extender called the Wi-Fi Max. This is the base configuration which uses internal antennas and I also bought the optional external antenna called the Swift antenna which just came in a box like this and this is just uh, comes with a length of wire and here's the antenna so we're going to try to mount this to the roof ladder try it first with just the inside antenna and then we'll go to this antenna to see how much it improves and they actually make a third antenna which is strictly a roof mount for your RV and I opted not to purchase that one the costs range from about ninety dollars for just the Wi-Fi Max about two hundred and twenty dollars for the Wi-Fi Max plus the Swift portable antenna and about four hundred and fifty dollars for the Wi-Fi Max with the Falcon antenna so it was quite expensive for the Falcon antenna which is why I didn't purchase it for review and if you go to my website at the link I provide here I will provide the links for where I purchased these items I first became aware of this last August when I went to an RV rally and a King Factory representative was there and at the time these were not yet available and he had a demo at his seminar but he didn't have it hooked up so there was no way that we could see the actual performance of the unit but you know the way salesmen are he was making some pretty outrageous claims on the distance and range that you could get out of this thing and I didn't believe it for a minute and I'm going to set this up inside the coach and see how many sources I can find in, in the signal strengths of those sources. Then we'll use this external antenna and see how much that improves. This I can keep portable. I can mount this either, as I said, on my roof ladder or I can just get a pole and just put this on a pole. And these tests I guess you could call user tests. We're just going to see what it looks like it does rather than actually doing any scientific measurements because I just don't have the instruments to do that. But if the test looks encouraging, we may go out and buy the Falcon uh, directional antenna. But we're going to wait and see how well this performs because it should give us a fairly good indication that it's either a go or no go. And here's a hot spot. On the side, one antenna comes disconnected with a SMC connector here and this is where you would use the external antenna such as the King Swift. You can either mount this vertically on the wall with those little screw capture things or you can set it down. Whichever way you mount it though these antennas must be pointed vertically so you may have to move them one way or the other. And one thing I don't necessarily tell you to do but you have to is there's a button called Wi-Fi. You may have to push that in until these lights come on on the front and it does take some setup and unfortunately what's in the manual is a little different than what's on the screen and i'm temporarily using the ghost stick flagpole mount for the swift antenna just to get it up above the rv and i'm just routing the uh, cable down into this compartment where the wi-fi max is located at each campground that had wi-fi i tried three tests the first test was using the laptop's internal Wi-Fi system. The second test was using the Wi-Fi Max with its antenna. And the third test was the external Swift antenna mounted on a pole about 10 feet above the ground. And in all cases, I counted the number of Wi-Fi hotspots I found. And then I connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot from the campground. And then used it over a 24-hour period of time to see if it slowed down during certain times of the day when other people were using it. We're at a campground called Vacation Station. And I have the Wi-Fi Max installed with the external Swift antenna installed. So it looks like we have 15 reporting stations. And in comparison, we have eight stations that are recognized by the Wi-Fi link in the computer itself. And two of them are the Wi-Fi Max, so actually we see six stations versus 16. And I tested this the whole summer at various different campgrounds. And at this campground, there was a Cracker Barrel right at the entrance of the campground. We were on the back side of the campground, maybe a thousand feet away. But I could not see the Cracker Barrel's Wi-Fi from my spot in the campground. So my final conclusion is that it's probably worth $100 for the base unit. I don't think I would buy any of the extended antennas. 
And for 100 bucks, you know, it's just another device to have on hand for those few times when you may need it. And the best scenario, again, is going to be if you're in a campground, you have a marginal signal, and you want to improve the signal from the campground Wi-Fi. You're still going to be in contention with the other users, and uh, two or three campers that fire up uh, streaming video is going to, you know, basically make it slow for everybody else. Keep that in mind. You're still on a public network. Your passwords are going to be seen by other people, and you're going to be sharing bandwidth. So your performance is going to be based on that factor probably as much as anything else. So while the Wi-Fi Max indeed increased the signal strength in some situations, I saw no increase in performance as far as throughput. And say even if you find a McDonald's or a Bob Evans or one of those restaurants that has free Wi-Fi, unless it's right outside the campground and you're within a couple hundred feet away, you can forget trying to connect to it. Of course, you can always use a hot spot like this inexpensive one I have here. And in many cases, the performance is actually better. However, just remember, you're on your own data plan, so this is going to cost you money to use versus the campground Wi-Fi is going to be free. Well, next up, I actually purchased this WineGuard Connect 2.0, which is the 4GE LTE Plus Wi-Fi extender. And I'll be doing a review on it in a future date. Now the WineGuard unit comes in two variations. You can get the Wi-Fi extender only or this one, which is the 4G LTE Plus Wi-Fi extender. And I actually purchased this on a closeout sale at one of the Gander Outdoors stores that were going out of business. So I got a really good deal on it. 